Salutations everyone, this is Razor giving you guys another Deathless speedrun here in Overwatch here with everyone's short little Swedish man, Torbjörn. Come get your armor. And we're going to set up the turret right here, King's Row defense. I know most of the uh, speedruns have been on offense, so I decided let's uh, let's do a little something different. Let's give ourselves a challenge. And we went to Winter Mystery Heroes and we got up Torbjörn, so we're going to make the best out of it. And Winter, or at least Mystery Heroes as a whole, is kind of funny because nobody really considers Bastion or Torbjorn to be good characters. But in Mystery Heroes, the team that gets the most Bastions and Torbjorns like wins. I know, maybe because people can't choose a character to counter with them or whatever. So we're going to have to make do with what we got. You know, we're never going to have the right amount of tanks and the right amount of healers. So shit, shit gets crazy here in Mystery Heroes, so... Well, when it comes to Torbjorn, since the update, you know, all the changes to how his gear works for the armor packs, uh, makes it a little bit more balanced, just so that he's more useful in more situations and not just when you're steamrolling, folks. We're going to replace the turret right here. They also increase his hammer swing speed. And uh, quite often, you know, if there's a Hanzo or an Ana or a Widowmaker, they can make real quick work of those turrets, especially since uh, those snipers can be sniping out of the range of the turret, so there's really nothing for him to fight back. So we're going to try and find a different line of sight that still protects um, the hotel here on the right and the objective there on the left. So we're just going to go in up against all these tanks, this Zarya and this Roadhog. Got the whole hog going on and he's barriered, so we're going to counter that turn on our turret so they can't move on to the point. He may be able to heal himself, but I do so much fucking damage when I'm on Molten Core. It's ridiculous, Donk, and I got all that extra armor. We're gonna peace out and get our snipes on. Torbjorn actually can do really good job um, with the single primary fire, uh, just because it's really easy to line up headshots with him. I know there's like a damage, damage drop off. It's not a hit scan weapon. But when it comes to uh, tanks or snipers, they can really get caught up by uh, Torbjorn because his projectiles are so slow. Uh, they might get hit two or three times before they notice what's happening to them and that it's a Torbjorn getting the snipes on. So we're always trying to throw out our armor packs here as much as possible, help out the team, make sure we always have a turret up. It's always, you know, a good idea to have the turret, even if it's if you don't get it to level two. Of course, that is the ideal situation, but with all the Widowmakers and Anas that the other team gets uh, spawns with, makes things a little bit more difficult. So we're going to get up in their face. We're going to put down the turret. We're not even going to upgrade it, and we're going to take down those bitches that were wiping out our turrets. And unfortunately, she gets rezzed. So there's the uh, biotic nade. There goes the turret. That's fine. We got we killed her once, but we're going to have to hopefully our teammates could help us out for the second time. Get some long shots on that whole hogging bastard again. And they get another road hog just pushing in way too deep. And he's trying to keep all the blood in his head instead of going under, but he just could not do it. Set up the turret again. Because it, we're leading down to the last minute and a half, they're going to start to get a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more uh, desperate. So I don't have to worry about my turret placement as much because they're going to start trickling in. I get nano boosted. So then we're just going to take full advantage of that. Yeah, you're going to hook me to, for your own death. And then we're going to take out the Widowmaker. Well, let's, let's, you know, we, should, we still could have got headshot there. So we're going to get our armor. It's not like she was going to be able to do anything by herself anyways. So we're going to hold back here, throw our armor out, just help the D.Va. Because, you know, the Ana might get killed instantly and there's no guarantee that that person will be respawned as a healer. Throw down the armor, get the turret back up. And it's uh, one of the things with Torbjorn is that he's just a really good disruptor. And sometimes what you often see is uh, a Torbjorn either on your team or on the other team. And all, you, you know that something that needs to be dealt with. And it gets, it gets handled pretty quickly as a, you know, a high value target. We get hooked and yet he's the one who dies again because we are just that good. Also, he wasn't that great. And here they come in, good for them, they have uh, quite a few tanks, they keep rolling Winstons and tons of Roadhogs, so we're going to have to back up. Our turret gets destroyed, but we're able to take him out, give the Diva some shields, throw out the turret. Not a good matchup, turret v Winston, Winston will win that matchup pretty much every time. 
But we have the turret up and we're going to go Molten Core because they only have 15 seconds out and the team wipes them. And I'm getting all this nice gear, so some quick cr uh, late Christmas gifts there for my teammates. I may not be Santa Bjorn, but I can still dish it out. And uh, that's just going to be uh, really it. So they have overtime, they're lucky to get you know, a tracer in there, you know, oftentimes, especially on here in London, you get tracers and genjis that can just get on the point real quick, force overtime or continue overtime, or sometimes really throw the, def the defenses off. Uh, this often happens in Hanamura as well, where if they can just get onto the point, it distracts the team and it allows the rest of the, uh, the attacking team an opportunity to go in with that distraction on the point, but it was a little too late for the enemy team. Toasting it up here with the Torbjorn, and we see this D.Va get the play of the game. We did a good job of keeping the D.Va alive, giving her armor packs. Always, you know, want to prioritize the healers um, first and foremost, but uh, that Ana was kind of just loosey-goosey, and we saw that the D.Va was doing her job, so we were giving her a lot of armor because there's no guarantee that you'll get a tank after that. So... Quick 19 and 0 defensive speedrun with Torbjorn. So we're gonna get three gold medals here, and uh, that's another speedrun in the books. Got a couple up uh, coming up for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. We're gonna try to do this with every single hero on the roster, and I'm gonna get back to work.